Hello, I just purchased some worms from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. They came in a box like this. I ordered them three days ago, and they arrived exactly three days ago. Um, so, and it comes with some instructions on how to take care of your worms. I purchased 2,000 of them, and they're going to be in, they're in a bag just like this from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. I had I had the same worms, red regular worms last year, but I had a a huge learning curve that I experienced. Um, in the winter, living in the mid Midwest, the winters get really cold, below zero, and my wife didn't want these critters in the house, so I kept them in the shed. And um, what happened? The bin froze because it got too cold. So um, that's a learning experience. So I have them in the house this year. I'm going to keep them in here all year round, but I also I also will have a worm bin outside that will eat my my leaves and my grass clippings from when I mow. My yard, I put no chemicals on it. It's all natural, so I'm not worried about pesticides also getting into my garden or anything. But I'm definitely looking forward to using these worm castings. I have I purchased 2000. I have two bins that I'm going to split. I'm going to put more in one bin than the other because I would like for one bin to have more worm castings rapidly so I can put them in my garden a lot sooner so my veggies and my uh, fruits will thrive. A little bit about my worm bin is um, I, have, I use a tote. I have two totes, one for uh, the drainage and one for my worms to be in, which are stacked together. I um. Dr dr drilled some holes in the bottom and I drilled some holes on the side and I drilled some holes on the lid so my air my worms could get air and um, the bin would be not stinky at all. The reason you drill holes on the bottom is for liquids to drain out and um, the thing about these worms they'll take about a week to get used to the new home so um, I'm gonna feed them just a handful of scraps but right now, the only thing I have in here is um, I have some, some leaves, some wet newspaper, not the glossy section, but the black and white section. And um, also have some cat, some soil from my last bins that didn't make it. So there's dirt in there also to get the bacteria started so my worms can get to town and start chowing down on this stuff. This bin was set up about four days ago so the worms could have an atmosphere that's already broken down so they could start eating. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting, this, getting these things started once again. So um, once again, Uncle Jim, they're a good place for worms to, uh, to purchase your worms. And what I will do, I will open my bag up. Excuse me for a second, I gotta set you down. It's open. I'm gonna put some, pour them in, but I'm gonna grab a handful and put them in my other band. So, this is what the worms are gonna look like. There's 2,000 of them. They're happy. They're going to find where they want to go, so I'm not going to move them around. The best thing to do is leave the lid off for 24 hours, but we have a cat, so I will not do that. So um, once a week, I will give an update on my worm farm. So you guys have a blessed day. Bye.